Kia ora. I'm Bromwyn from the Deep Sea Conservation Coalition and I spend my days working to secure the protection of seamounts on the high seas, that area of ocean that exists beyond our national borders, way out of everyday sight. That deep sea, beyond our sight and experience, is a vast world of biodiversity. The habitats and species found there truly define our understanding of normal, living far deeper than any of us could ever go without a submarine, in waters that are dark and cold and sometimes poisonous. Down there are fish that glow and corals that have taken a thousand years to grow. That deep sea is also a realm that helps keep our planet healthy by sequestering carbon. It is our guardian our kaitiaki. My focus is on protecting the seamounts of the deep sea, underwater mountains often part of a mountain chain that provide a place for animals like corals and sponges to settle on after being carried there by ocean currents. Currents that also bring those seamount settlers food and over time new arrivals and companions. As a result, seamount communities can be more diverse than we find on land each mountain having a different combination of inhabitants and interactions. Given their shape, seamounts also produce upwellings of water around them, which lift nutrients to the surface for whales and sharks and fish to feed on. They are extraordinary ocean spaces. Seamounts also attract fishing vessels, especially those looking for deep sea fish that hang out around them. The worst are the bottom trawl trawlers, their fishing gear scraping over the surface of the seamount to catch bottom-dwelling fish. As they scrape, they destroy everything in their path, including the corals and sponges that have made their way there on ocean currents over generations to settle and thrive. New arrivals and long-time inhabitants alike will be gone in an instant when a bottom trawl net is dragged over their home. The Deep Sea Conservation Coalition is working with partners around the world to ensure that bottom trawling isn't wrecking havoc on these vulnerable marine ecosystems. The members of the United Nations, our governments, have agreed that vulnerable marine ecosystems should be protected, which means seamounts should be protected. Yet a few countries, including my own, Aotearoa New Zealand, insists that destroying parts of a vulnerable marine ecosystem, like one side of a seamount or a percentage of a seamount chain, is okay. But that's like saying that mining 30% of the Himalayas or destroying 30% of the Swiss Alps is okay. And we know it's not. We all need to keep telling our governments and our fishing companies just that. It's not okay. And we should keep reminding them that a thousand-year-old coral takes a thousand years to grow.